Hey, hey, so let's do lab 2, 10.25, where we manage account policies. So here are the instructions that you are the IT administrator for a small corporate network, and you need to configure a password policy for the domain on the CopDC server. So yeah. in this lab, your lab, uh, your task is to edit the default domain policy and configure the account policy setting using the following instructions. So you are required to configure the password policies as well as configure the account local policy. So let's uh, maximize the Hyper-V manager, then come to COP server, then uh, under the virtual machines, uh, click on COP DC. So once you get there, I want you to maximize this, uh, then uh, maximize the server manager. Once you're there, I want you to go to the... Um, I want you to, once you're the server manager, I want you to go to tools, then look up for group policy management. Have we really double clicked it? Have we double clicked it? Okay, group policy management, or just click once. So once you have that, maximize that page of group policy management. Then I want you to click on forest, uh, copnet local so once you're at the copnet local i want you to go to domains so once you're at domains you get your copnet le copnet local i want you to focus on um, or to right click on the d default domain policy so let's expand this so that we have a better view So right click on the default domain policy so that you can be able to edit, uh, maximize that because you'll be working on this. Then once you have right click on that, I want you to go to, um, I want you to go to, uh, to, to expand the policies, then go to Windows settings and I want you to focus on the security settings. So once you get to the security settings, I want you to focus on, uh, Let's expand this for better viewing. I want you to focus on the account policies, particularly the password policy. Uh, so we've been told that the enforced password. Um, so I click on it and select properties. The, the enforced password policy as provided in this instruction should be 10. Uh, 10 passwords to be remembered. So click on apply, then say OK. Then come to the maximum password age. We've been told that it needs to be 90 days. So edit that, apply, then say OK. Then the maximum password age, we've been told that it needs to be uh, at least 14 days. 14 days. So you need to click apply and say okay. Then we've been told that the password must contain their complexities. Uh, the password length should be 10. The character length should be 10. Okay, so then click apply and say okay. Now when you come to the complexity requirements, I've uh, been told that um, it needs to have a, a, an uppercase, yeah. an lowercase, and uh, a symbol. So uh, enable this, apply, then say OK. OK, once you have done that, I want us to configure the account policies. So when you come to account policies, um, they have asked you to lock out the account if five uh, incorrect passwords are entered. So this is where your account lockout threshold is five five correct uh, terms so and then they've told you to uh, the account local duration is locked for C before anyone can attempt the logon again so here you edit this to the local duration is actually 60 minutes uh, click apply and say okay then how long would you reset their password after Failed attempts. Here we've been told that it is 10 minutes. So click apply and say okay. So from there we have actually completed the instructions so we can score our lab and 
uh, write in the comments if you got a hundred percent for sure you will remember to click uh, subscribe or comment or like the video